Congratulations, Roselle, because you've been bit by the bug. What bug is that? It's the inventory shortage bug. We're going to discuss that and much more right after this. Hey, this is Camille, local real estate agent, and I want to thank you for taking a moment out of your day to watch my video on Roselle's real estate housing market for December 2022. And in preparation for the end of the year, I wanted to just create this little quick wrap because there's no other ways, I, no other way I can really put out there. And so here it goes. I can't make it more abundantly clear that there's no inventory to end the year. Homeowners are just clearly staying in their home straight chilling in Rosa, Rosa Park, even in Linden. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to embarrass myself anymore. We're just going to roll into these statistics because they are, they are, there's no inventory. If you couldn't even get what I wrapped. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Number one is that no new homes entered the market in the month of December. Um, this month, only seven homes became available for sale in the month of December. This is down 56% from one year ago when there were 16 homes on the market. Um, don't know why this is happening. It's, you know, I can't say it's weather, you know, snow stopped the... The, the, the progression are of, you know, putting homes on the market. I don't know why. I would love to hear from you guys. Why do you think the inventory numbers are so low or why nobody put their homes on the market in a month of December? And, you know, like I said, you can say, well, December's a rough month to sell your house. That's correct. But last year, it was over, more than double, you know? So why? Why is nobody putting their homes on the market? So, yeah, let's go ahead and go into the second stat. And as a continuation of this statistic, is the total inventory was down drastically from one year ago. Last year, there were 45 homes on the market in the month of December. This year, it is only 22. There are only 22 homes that were on the market. So that is down 51% from one year ago. Another key number I'm really going to be paying attention to is the days on market until a home successfully sells in town. Um, last year, days on market was 36 days. This year, um, in December, it was 47 days on the market till a home sold. I This is a number of, especially when you hear that, you know, there's, um, let me say, media-driven um, headlines that talk about you know, buyers backing away from buying homes and because the interest rates are so high that there's no buyers out there. You know, this is one number that I, I like to look at because I always like to see, you know, are homes now starting to stay on the market longer? Is it a, you know, are we uh, multiple, you know, consecutive months of it happening? Or is it just one fluke month and then it just goes back to normal? So right now we're at 47. I'm going to pay attention to see if there's a continuation of this key number or if it was, like I said, just a fluke month where it was just one month where it would just went crazy and then next month it will be back down to like 20 days on the market. So we'll pay attention to that one too. The last key number is that the year ended strong with the average sales price for a home in town. Last year, the average sales price of a home was $375,000 in the month of December. This year, it was $416,000. So that is up, what, oh, that's almost 11% from one year ago. And there you have it. Just a quick overview of what's going on in Roselle's housing market for December 2022. Keep an eye out on the channel because I will be uh, probably in the next week or so dropping a year in review type of um, video. So we'll be doing my 2022 year in review, jazz hands, um, for the, uh, for Roselle. So I'm looking forward to definitely go in, in a little bit more detail about what's happened and what's trended in the past year. And um, as always, you know, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos for the past year. 
I'm hoping you this at least helps you guys along your home buying or selling journeys. And I'm looking forward to continuing to give you some great content and hopefully some homes to talk about in 2023. So otherwise, make sure you follow me on my channel, subscribe, like my stuff, check me out on my other social media platforms. And there you have it. Guys, have a great rest of the day, week, and I look forward to speaking to you next month. Take care.